Yeah, yeah, it, it does. It seems like just yesterday. March fifth, twenty twenty. A lot of times it seems like just yesterday. Like no time has passed, <sighs> but also like a lifetime has passed. <sighs> that <laughs> just I can I can exhale. Even even we're here. We might have residual, but whatever. We're here. We're working through that. Two years ago, Rachel Hughes almost lost her husband, Terrence. Big T. Yeah. Pastor Big T. Yeah, well, I mean, I was in the hospital for, what, uh, 60 days, 60 days uh, in, in, uh, in, in, uh, in a coma. When I went to sleep, the world was regular. And when I woke up, everything had changed. They were a mass. There was a whole new language. They survived the virus. Yes. But two years later... I'm hanging on and not letting go. ...are still in recovery. Right? I won't complain because I know there are, there are people who are worse, but I have my good days and I have my bad days, you know? And I just thank God that we're that we have uh, my good days outweigh my bad days. And the body is not the only thing still healing. And we also feel the the, the weight of, uh, of COVID and what it's done to our state and in our, and our, and our country, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's a level of uh, grief that we're all still yet dealing with. COVID restricted us so much, right? We didn't know what to do. And then you start becoming distrustful of each other. These kinds of things caused a lot of divisions in families and in friends. As pandemic year two comes to a close, the Hughes have hope that year three looks a little brighter. That's what I'm hoping, and I'm hoping the next year just brings us all growing closer again, right? More healing, right? I'm, I'm looking forward to more healing in myself and my wife too, right? Yeah. So we can all enjoy life, you know? We followed Big T's story since he got sick. His release after 60 days in the hospital, his month in rehab, his ongoing health challenges, even when vaccines came online and he got his vaccine. But my personal favorite of all of his story is because he survived. He and his wife got to celebrate their 20th wedding anniversary. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. Yeah. He really took me back when he said, you know, he wakes up, all of a sudden everybody's wearing masks. There's a new language. Yeah. I mean, a new normal. He went into his coma in early March and he woke up, I think it was May sometime. Can you imagine missing mm. those two months at the early pandemic? Waking up to a different world. A different world. That hopefully yep. is changing. Back for the better. All right, mm -hmm. Jenny, thank you for that.